actually to minimize the use of dogs, of watchdogs. So uh, one motivation is, uh, you know, Shafi gave a very good talk uh, this week, and uh, she pointed out that uh, cryptographers should be in the business of uh, protecting uh, machine learning programs, but uh, we have not been so good in protecting our own programs, like crypto systems, and uh, cryptography has been pointed out uh, uh, over 20 years ago as, uh, as a, an attack on our systems, and I'm not talking about implementation attacks, hardware, and so on. So uh, there are two classes of cryptographic attacks on systems. Uh, one involved biasing the randomness, and another one is introducing hidden triggers uh, that an adversary can, who, who knows about them exclusively, can exploit. And I mainly will deal with, the, uh, with this one. And, uh, here is an example. So we have a signature scheme. Uh, ask to, you, the system is asked to sign. Uh, there is a uh, secret key generation. Sign. Uh, it is signed. And then the bad guy comes. You see there is a bug in the ant in your system. Ants are very prevalent in Santa Barbara, so it's OK. And as a result, uh, uh, the secret key, for example, is the directly or indirectly is leaked to the, the attacker. It can be also in verification. The bad guy asks to verify with the trigger, and it always will pass. OK, and then people started uh, after it was found out that you know Snowden uh, revealed that this actually is being uh, fielded, so uh, we we have to do something. So people, a uh, few efforts started to deal with cryptography. We uh, we call it cryptography, clipping the power of cryptographic attack. And uh, we can do either do prevention or detection. There are uh, different levels of uh, detection. Uh, in order to change the crypto system, we have to change the architecture. So one of the architectures for detection is putting a component in your uh, trust base, in your, in your system that is called a watchdog that will, or some judge that will be able to detect uh, what's going on. And uh, there are different levels of, of, of resources, and we measure the resources with the barking power of the, the watchdog. So uh, Omnisa <laughs> watchdog that has a private state and he has access to all, it has access to all the transcripts. It, it's like a dog that's barking loudly. It has a big barking uh, capability, and online watchdog is barking all the time. And uh, a weaker one, and we always want weaker, weaker, less resources. That's uh, a watchdog that comes, bark at the beginning, and fall asleep. So, uh, and it's important when we design architecture and we, our new architecture with a uh, trusted uh, component to minimize uh, as much as possible the, the, the resources. So, uh, in signatures, there have been a few before, one with an online watching dog, one with an active online, and uh, some of the co-authors of the current paper did uh, online watchdog with uh, kind of modifying existing signatures. And the question is, can we do it with an offline watchdog that comes inspect the system, checking the system in some sense, and then the system can go on and work uh, without this active uh, trusted component all the time uh, putting an eye on it. And uh, OK, yes, we can. We have one construction, again, based on full domain hash, uh, with, of course, new techniques. Uh, 
uh, and uses also the, the paper that is going to be presented on uh, Thursday. And the second construction, uh, which is kind of a generic transformation. So yes, we can. And uh, we can build uh, more trusted systems with certain assumptions on the architecture. We can minimize those assumptions. So if we are there to help others, we should first help ourselves. Thank you.